What's up, everybody? Hello. I'm your, I'm your host, Dave Green. Hello. You're, I'm Dave Green. You're in my house. Don't, don't listen to him. Dave Green Street View Show here with John Hastings. Nope. I'm also Dave Green. <laughs> the Dave Green, Dave Green Show. Dave Green, Dave Green I just Show. I interviewed myself. It's an awesome show. Hi, Thanks for tuning in. Hi, everyone. I'm Dave Green. I've got a really calm energy, and I seem like... I have a larger than you would expect penis. <laughs> this is all true. Listen to everything he says. His name is Dave Green, and he's a stand-up comedian from Canada. I was at uh, Toriano's Pub he's not, earlier he's not this week. Let me do the uh, Pete Doherty was there, and uh, there was a woman who was is that a fact? Pete Doherty used to hang out at that pub all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. But he's still there now. No, he lives somewhere in Essex, and is just still a junkie. Oh, just hanging around. Yeah, but yeah, he's. Yeah. It's crazy. No one talks about that. That guy, everyone was like, he's going to die. Still alive. Yeah, yeah. Just he's still, still fucking around. going. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost impressed. No, I am impressed. But he's still drinking in that pub because I know he used to hang around there. I don't think he's drinking in that pub. I think, oh, okay, they, okay. I think he had that thing where, you know, like with drug addicts in England, at a certain point, they banned them from cities. Really? Yeah, they can ban you from a city. I think they banned him from London. Really? Oh, my God. Man, you got booted. Get from, out of there. You got fucking booted you, from London. Just stay in Essex, right? Yeah. Cool, man. Do you want, to, do you want me to do your intro? Or do, Go do on, mate. Welcome to the Pete Dockerty Show. So, yeah, no, this is John Hastings, and he's, yeah, stand-up comedian from Canada. Mm-hmm. You do the Wrestle Review podcast, don't you, with Dylan Gott? Available every day. By the way, I'm here. Every day? The, no. Well, the show is available every day, but we don't do it every day. I'm also here to announce that Dave Green's Street View Show and the Wrestle Review are officially in a feud. This will be the yeah, last yeah. time we it's appear big, together. It's big beef. big beef. I keep trying to start podcast feuds with other podcasts. Like, they used to have oh, radio awards back yeah, in the yeah. day. In like different markets of morning shows, like I want that with podcasts. With like we're just throwing out like misinformation. Like I don't know how these shows would battle. They're quite, I want you to they're know quite different. Colin right now is wearing no trousers or underpants, <laughs> but just a full hoodie and t-shirt combo, so we can see his bits just underneath the table. It's nothing sexual, sorry, but it is threatening. I'll, sorry, I'll pull my chair in. So does that <laughs> yeah. make you feel better? No, you should I'm say sorry. hi, Colin. No, no one ever sees you. Although uh, I, I paid for a second green screen. The he never clicks them. So. so let me just get my don't, don't there. There I am in shot now. There he is. There's my uh, my torso is is just in shot. What a beautiful torso! I've painted, Colin, what <laughs> accent is that? It's Irish, and I've painted myself green from the waist down. So if I do appear on shot, nobody's going to see your your is legs. That are a, is that an Irish accent? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Don't, Scandinavian? Don't, so, don't believe so Scandinavian Irish. for real. Yeah, it's not the most Irish accent ever. No, Bigara. There, that sounded fucking Irish. By, by God and by gosh, and top of the morning to you. There we go. It's the words. It's the words. Yeah. This is, now, now I can picture it. Literally, if you were going potato, Catholic church, potato, then I would say, yeah, you sound pretty Irish. But that's that's because that's like, you know. The, so it's the, not that he's just saying the wrong words. That's yeah, he was just problem. speaking like a human as yeah. opposed to a stereotype of <laughs> how I identify people from countries. Uh, excuse me, English person. Why are your teeth so white? Unfair. Shut up. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep All right, going man. with the intro. Should we start the show? The intro. Oh, you want me to still do the intro? Well, you keep interrupting me every time I do Oh, sorry. It. Sorry for entertaining your audience, Dave. <laughs> And so you should be. This is this show is not about entertainment. It's about monotony and clicking along roads. Mm. All right. So yeah. Oh, I was gonna see. Look, I was gonna plug your that's album. Why I'm t- that's why yeah, I'm exactly. You go right. Back. So you've just released a new stand-up hour on iTunes, right? Yeah, baby. Art. And what's it called? Art. John. It's, Hast- it's a great name. John Hastings. It's very humble. Art. Art. Yeah. I wanted to have weird punctuation after art, so you'd have to, people would be unsure how to a comma then a question mark. Yeah, John Hastings art. Is that what is, is that what the actual title? That's what I wanted to be, and the people they're putting it out said absolutely uh, not. They're like, "That's bastards. not funny. Just look weird." And I'm like, "I yeah, know, but yeah. just so I could then in these moments be like, no, it's John Hastings art." And then I'm like, "What is that facial expression you're like? That, not, that's a co- what's the facial expression of a comma? I'd like to see." No, it's that it's the sl- it's, a it's a slight pause like that. Yeah, yeah. And then what's the question mark? Yeah, but it's, but it's different for everyone. Yeah, how would you think a comma would look? I think a comma would be almost almost nothing because it's a almost a pause, nothing. right? So, there, my name's Dave Green. That's almost, like yeah, that. I like that. Do that's, you know I mean? that's really good. Yeah, it's, you can pre-order it now. Available for, for purchase December fifth. Don't even need to buy it. If all of you Fox just go on your Apple Music and just add it, that is the same supposedly. So do that. Do me a favor. Just add on your Apple Music. You don't even need to listen to it. It's free. You're already paying for it, you bags of shit. So do me a fucking favor. How about you fucking help someone the fuck out? Huh? Instead of fucking sitting there watching Facebook shows. (laughs) All right. 
Talking of Facebook shows, should we should we crack on? Mm. What's that, John? I believe that this is the street I grew up on in so Ottawa, up in Ontario, the- Canada. That ominously just has a red chair in front of the Leberges house. What? Is, that's the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Who, who are the, the Leberges? There's a family that live in that Over house. There, yeah. Because here's the thing: in in Canada, you get to know the people who live on your street, as opposed to England. Oh yeah. Where the only reason you do that. Do you go around and knock on people's houses? Is I think to identify yourself as a pedophile. I've been told. Yeah, you never. I never. My neighbour the other day, I got in the tube with a guy who lives here. I don't think he likes me because we got in the tube. This is We're what both every... grumpy. We always ignore each other. We got in the tube, packed tube track, and we. He was like, "There, where you are," and we both looked at each other. Are you serious? That's so sad, isn't it? Where are you from originally? Twickenham. Yeah, this is such a London idea yeah, yeah, yeah. that you would never. Like, why would I didn't you... know who was blanking who to be, but it was just like, but what you're just like that, just like it's because war. you're in a situation where you've spent so much time in close proximity to each other, but you've not. It's just knocked normal. on their door. Yeah, like yeah, when yeah. I moved to my neighborhood, which we'll get to, I knocked on a few doors and was like, "Hey, what's up? I moved in. I moved yeah, in yeah. right over there. My name's John. Good to see you." And everyone was just like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> and it was yeah. years later where they're like, "They probably thought you were a pedophile." <laughs> I was like, well, well hang on. Where, where does this idea come from that pedophiles introduce themselves? Because they have to let you have to let everyone know that you're uh, oh, on the sex so yeah, uh, registry. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I thought you meant you were like overcompensating by being really friendly. Yeah, yeah. Or just hey. trying to meet, or just hoping a kid. Hey, eh, any yeah. kids hoping for a tickle? Just kidding. Not really, though. <laughs> uh, other fun stuff on this street. There's a house that a guy just renovated himself. The okay, turn her, turn it around. That guy, that this guy right yeah. here. That was a fucking bungalow. That was a bungalow. Really? And the guy did it himself. He just he built it completely around over the space of like three years. It has not been made clear to me whether or not he actually was a uh, contractor, which is the weirdest part of it. But he did that. He built the entire... Like it was... If you go next door, it was that, that same house. They were identical. Yeah. Identical houses... He turned it into that fucking thing. Isn't that quite not? I mean, I know in America, lots of people build their own houses, right? Mm-hmm. Is that so? People do it in Britain. Houses too. here are really, yeah, but not that often, man. Really? All the houses here look the same. It's pretty, yeah. In 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 the UK. But also, so what was it like growing up here, man? Do you it was a beautiful, it? idyllic sort of like suburban Canadian Yeah, it looks street. pretty suburban. Yeah. like it was, what, what did your folks do? My mom worked for the post office. My dad, who did not live in this city... Drama uh, had various jobs. Worked at this time when I was living here, worked so you grew up with your mom. Grew up with my mom. All right. Also, this sh- street has totally changed. So, like that McMansion on the corner wasn't fucking there. It was a house that was full of mold, apparently, and they fucking leveled it and built this. I gotta quite say it, beautiful house. Although I don't really like the color scheme, but lovely layout, very Cal- Car- Car- California modern. Uh, the house next door there, I don't actually know what this family's name was. But rumor on the street was is the uh, son liked to uh, get in the jacuzzi that they had in the back in the nude. And I found that out from the old woman who lived next to That's us. what I love about the show, just totally giving away people's fucking. I don't even. Yeah, but it's like. Yeah, they might not live there now. So. Uh, oh, what are they going to do? Get in contact? Hey, you divulged the great secret <laughs> of my family. If we go up this street, we can go to the school I went to. So I would walk. This is a 10 minute walk. You do this every day. Back in the day when kids would walk to school, you'd walk. This is I can tell this is mid fall, probably early to oh, mid October. Right, just changed, man, and one click. Oh my god! They'll do that on Google Street. Yeah, it's yeah, two yeah. different. The seasons. leaves just came back to the because that's like late September. Now it's autumn again. That's that was th- weird. That's like you see this it. is like late October. There's a month difference, which is stupid. Um. Also, the Google Street View is making this look way longer than it actually is. Where Where are we going? Down we're, going, we're going going all the way up Dovercourt, baby. All we're actually down. going up a hill right now. You can, if for some reason, you can't tell. It's a very steep hill. But is it? Yeah. Like, if you turn to the right, or turn to the left. The Just left, like, you sorry. fuck. Um, that house on the corner there is on a, stoop, a super steep incline. But yeah. You can't really tell it from there, which is weird. Yeah, it looks totally normal. Um, so that's my, if you turn to your right. Backing up. Uh, no, no, just look at that construction site that's right there. Oh, yeah. That is the site of my old elementary school, and they bulldozed it. Oh, really? It kept catching fire because the furnace was so bad, it would just set parts of the school on fire. Yeah, yeah that's And no they good. finally realized we probably shouldn't have... Still a school, by the way. They still had students in a building with... The, the heater was so bad, it was literally attempting to murder children. And then, so that's the school right there. This, this is the lovely red brick building. Um, and what was that like? What, what was uh, the young John Hastings? Fucking like? weird. I was a, 
I was a big headed nerd. Were you? Yeah, of course. Everyone nerd assumes kid. I was a. I thought you were a joke, man. Everyone I was, assumes just, I, was I guess a it's mainly a size thing, man. It, that's like, exactly what it is. You're everyone, a powerful fucking. The amount of people that assume I know about sports, yeah. know about sports, know how to fish, like, am right wing. That's what I get a lot. Yeah. Like when I was, I was talking to someone recently, and I talked about like. I quoted, I said something about Mao, and they're like, you don't look like the kind... So, people have basically said, you don't look like you read. And it's like, thank you. But yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. So, you're kind of a nerdy kid, or Yes, yeah, of course. I was into, like, heavy metal and pro yeah, wrestling yeah. and fucking comic books and shit like that. And then, here's... This is, this is like, grade 7 and 8, so 12, 13. The thing with it is, a suburban... The thing with Ottawa is, it's a lot of government workers, so a lot of jobs are incredibly secure. And so, it's a weird combination of people that legitimately got those jobs because they want to be parents and have a family and a combination of fucking strafes who just got that job because who gives a fuck and now I have a family and I don't really like them so some of the kids were like so profoundly fucking weird some of the shit that Uh went down like just whack jobs um one kid um I was about to say his full name that we've tried to find on the internet Uh multiple times we can't find him he uh, he kept getting caught um, just shitting in his hand and writing in the bathroom. Really? Yeah, absolutely nuts. This is my high school, by the way. Or uh, we, we um, oh, right next door. Yeah, our science teacher, uh, Doctor Aota, used to be found smoking right in that corner all the oh, fucking really? time. Like when he should be teaching class, he'd be <laughs> hacking butts. Yeah, Japanese marine biologist who taught high school as opposed to university because he didn't like. Um, I don't actually know why he didn't teach in university, but he taught high school, and he smoked hardcore. And I dug him. He was a great guy. Very angry man. Oh, great guy. We're going to go up to the auditorium where I spent a lot of time as a fucking drama nerd, bro. So once, so we met were... Sterwell, by the way. <clears throat> Me and my buddy Chris Connors. Once we both found, we found $40 one day. It was the greatest day of our lives. Done that. Right? I'll never forget right. it. Right the <laughs> fuck there. Right the f- Just two crisp $20 bills. Yum, yum. I bought a Jimi Hendrix t-shirt and Chris, I think, bought weed. There we go. A couple, still, a couple of cool guys. I still have my T-shirt, man. I don't actually. I really miss that shirt. It was a good one. So you did. So you said you studied drama, right? I uh, yeah. So I, you were performing from from what, in high school. Age? Yeah, I just like drama class, and then yeah. I finally realized, like, oh, I could like audition for like improv. There's a thing in Canada called the Canadian Improv Games, which basically no one talks about improv of like who's on an anime. All that sort of stuff was developed in Canada. It's a Canadian. Was it? Yeah, it's a Canadian art form. So who who are some of the people that came out of it? Is that that Eugene? Uh... Eugene Levy, that's Second City. So yeah. all that, sort of, so all the games of Whose Line Is That Anyway, all of that sort of stuff was all adapted by various other people. It was originally created by a guy named Keith Johnstone and adapted in various other forms. Second City took their way. Yeah, yeah. Um, Canadian Pro Games took their way. We can go down to my best friend Paul Harrison's house if you want to. We yeah. can also pass the tree where people used to go smoke. Um, what are you looking up here? I'm just going to become a parent in a sec. I'm just saving some clouds. What? We do a thing where we look at the clouds, but we'll come back to that. Oh, so no, where, where do you want me to go? No, 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 let's look at those clouds now. Want to look at some clouds? Yeah. Get the clouds ready, Colin. So this is the part of the show where... I don't know if we did this last time, we look at the we clouds. Didn't, didn't, you know when you're a kid and you look look up at the clouds and you see if you see a the picture? Best. The yeah. fucking best. And that's what we do on this show virtually. Okay, what do you think that so is? So tell us, John. Tell us, John, what do you see there? It's a chicken exploding. A ch- exploding chicken? Where are you seeing that? Okay, it's the fucking body right there. It's the head that's gone, but it's still <laughs> smoking because it exploded. <laughs> Smoke. I guess it's a... Yeah, yeah I kind of see that. What do you see? What do I see? I guess it almost looks like a... I want to say a dog kind of like that turning around. A, do- a dancing dog? Yeah, kind of looking over its shoulder. Oh. I don't know why. Or, or like a bath uh, duck. I like but that. This is a... People at home, by the way, you get a chance. This is where you can comment in as well. So comment in. You better fucking not comment. Listen to him. Don't fucking say anything. Just go fucking. Don't add, listen to him. Just have my fucking album. You could, you could, you could win it. Mute, mute his mic, Colin. Mute his mic. I, uh, <laughs> now you get to come in at home. Tell us what you see in the clouds, and you'll win uh, something from my house because we haven't got any prizes yet. We just give away uh, shit from my house. So, uh, all right, let's see if there's another one. John's uh, Colin's so good at tech. He's muted at John's actual voice in real life. Thank you for bringing my mic back. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What's that? What would you see there, mate? What's that? Mm. Tell us. 
Oddly, that looks like smoke to me, which isn't a good thing to see. <laughs> That's the most unimaginative know, answer. it's really bad. Um, looks like a cloud. Yeah, that cloud looks like a fucking... It looks like uh, air and water mixed together <laughs> in a high atmospheric area. Uh, <laughs> isn't it the same cloud we just looked at? Different cloud, mate. I'm going to say it looks like uh, it looks like a horse's body. A but horse's a, body? Where are you seeing that? But with a pig's head. This looks like a horse's body, but that looks like a pig's head. It's a pig horse. A the, horse. Old, the old pig horse. How do, what's the noise a pig horse makes? The old pig horse. What's the noise a pig, ho- pig horse Ooh. makes? I don't know. What do you reckon, Colin? Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I'd love it if that was Colin's only contribution to yeah. the show. Colin, what's <laughs> the noise a pig horse makes? It goes... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> a cow goes moo. A horse goes... A, a pig, pig horse, horse goes... goes <laughs> very good. A dog goes woof. A cat goes meow. A horse pig goes... Very good. It laughs. I like how he laughs at the end. Yeah. It's a very With that ju- music, that sounds like the creepiest a, like, children's CD. It's a jovial yeah. mutant. Um, All right, man. So that'll do it. And remember to comment in on home, guys. Yeah. If you don't what think, do you see? If you don't think that's what a horse pig sounds like, fucking comment in. Uh, right. Simon says it looks like a dog giving a hug. Oh. Simon, I, who's this Simon character? Oh, I didn't realize Simon was a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simon Dwayne Calavazides. Oh, yeah. Calavazides. And what do you say it looked like? Uh, a dog giving a hug. You know what? That's actually that's pretty. That is pretty good. That is kind of what cute. it looks like. It's a really cute arms. Yeah, I can actually see because that's there's the dog's arms. This is the thing it's hugging. That's the dog's face. That's its leg up, and the dog's actually, getting yeah, ready to fuck, bro. Oh man, I wonder what that says about Simon. What did you see? You saw a fucking chicken exploding. That that's was quite a other, violent image. That was the man. other cloud. That was a Over violent here, image. Over here, that's a squirrel. That's a chicken. Exploding. Oh, that's big now. That's a squirrel. Clearly, a squirrel. Oh yeah, that is a squirrel. Yeah, that is an actual squirrel. Squirrel falling out of the tree. Awesome. Thanks for playing, Simon. He's, right. the, he's the early leader. No, I think we can go to the next next zone. Where's this, mate? This is uh, this is my apartment in university. Texas, you know, my apartment in university. I was thinking of it as my apartment in university. I just realized that. Uh, this is my first apartment after university when I was a full-on adult in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, in the neighborhood Montreal. of St. Henry. Turn it around. I'll show you the actual apartment, and then I'll take you through the neighborhood. Around Turn it. it around. Turn it around. Right there. Top floor. That's you. Up there. 3103. Not going to give you the road unless you are St. Antoine. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> that balcony when I lived there was dilapidated. And you, if you'd step on it, you'd hear a creaking noise that made me believe the entire front of the building was going to fall off. Um, when we lived there down below, this, uh, the bottom floor was a grow up. Pretty, pretty successful. A what? A grow up? What is it? They were growing weed. Oh, a grow up. All right. Grow, yeah. Growing operation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, that's more like it. And I remember one night I just heard like, vroom, 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 vroom. And like about five vans were right here. And there were just guys going, go, <laughs> like running and destroying garbage bags and all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like slam, 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 slam. Like in like two minutes, like so much. Then peel out. And then like in a fucking movie, just woo. For real, yeah. So they got a tip off. There's going to be a raid. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, man. So this is quite a rough part of town, then, or they were no? Just... It's just Montreal's a bit fucking yeah, yeah. sketchy as a city, but it's great. Speaking of which, there was a shooting. I was going to show you this the next thing. So on that street right there, we'll go down to the alleyway. Down right here, yeah. I was I was walking. So it happened about twenty minutes before. Or me and my other roommate, Joanne. Okay, go back, go back. Perfect, perfect. That's what you see. No, no, stay right there. Don't, don't fucking move, baby. Right there. Don't, don't stop it. Here, here, here. Just stop. All right, all right. So we're walking up this street from the two, the metro, which is the tube in Montreal, there. And my friend Jill was in her room, I believe, smoking a cigarette in secret, not telling her boyfriend. And so her door was open. And two guys started fighting in, like, right here. And basically, one was stood right here in the front of that alley. Yeah. And one guy was stood uh, right here in front of this alley. And then they just shot at each other. Neither one of them hit them. Really? Hit each other. They emptied both clips. Okay. Neither one of them hit each other. Then they threw the guns at each other and started fighting in the street. And Jill was the only witness. And so she called the cops. The cops came. They brought her. They're having the whole like talk right here. The fucking idiot police officers um, had the guys right there. So they were like, oh, shit. 
Uh, never oh mind. my, my god. god! Yeah, so it's like so clear. Who? That's we, so irresponsible, man. So fucking irresponsible. And Jeez. like, was we, your friend really? She was. Fu- we were all fucking spooked. We're like, what the fuck? And they were like, it's fine. They're not getting out. And no, nothing. Ever, still, like, yeah. yeah just take ha- our word from it. Yeah, but right. I was yeah. like, nothing Jesus. ever happened. But still, it was like, fuck me, yeah, yeah. guys. No, I would be scared. Man. No, it was fucking terrifying. So is it still quiet? I always feel like there's less gun stuff going on. Can I mean, there's, there's way less than America, but there's still some. There's right? some, and there's some crime. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, a shootout. That's pretty. That's yeah. pretty hard. If you want to go down here, you can see the t- uh, the largest um, uh, headquarters for tobacco outside of Switzerland. It's in, down here. I mean, it's, that's a real like tourist type of. It's fucking huge. It's. If so you'd like to look to your left. Well, because the thing is, is Montreal is a very um, economically depleted country or uh, city. Mm. For a variety of reasons. So the big businesses are bizarre. Like uh, the biggest porn company is headquartered in Montreal. Canada, is it? Which, Mind, would, which would be? MindGeek. Like all, all your favorite porn websites owned by this company. MindGeek. MindGeek. That building I don't think is actually even there anymore. This is, looks newly built. I think they've already torn that down somehow. I don't know why. I just, I was there. I so what, what was happening in your life at this time? Are um, you doing comedy already? I already I, this yep. is the house I was living in when I started comedy in 2006. I'd been living there for... No, I had or, I, I moved into that house and I'd already started comedy, yes. So that was the first house I lived in that was... I'd done comedy. I started doing comedy at Jimbo's Comedy Works on Bishop Street. Oh, Jimbo's. In uh, Montreal. I thought about Can buying... Can we go there? Can we walk Yeah, we, of course. Can. I thought about buying a loft in this building when I was briefly a radio producer making... Crazy. You're a radio producer. I was a radio producer for that. seven months, and it was I was working three jobs, so I was making so much money because I was basically just not sleeping, yeah. and working twenty four hours a day. So I had no. It was I went crazy. The only like thing that would give me pleasure was I would bicycle to the top of steep hills, yeah, and look at the city, and then go as fast down the hill as possible because it was like three o'clock in the morning, and the city was. Dead. Like London's very strange that London, there's someone awake. Montreal at three forty-five in the morning. Yeah, yeah. You are the only person. Yeah, yeah, the, no one the police are snoozing in their cars. All right, let me take you to old Jimbo's. Tell me, tell me where to go. Okay, you go. I'm down. worried about you. I don't want you to hurt your arm. Oh, baby. John's broken his arm, by the way. Yeah, I've broken my arm scolding a child named Dave Green. Different Dave Green, though, actually. So this is Saint Jacques. There is actually a very cool theater that's in that Look at that now. cloud. That's a fucking good cloud. What's that? Oh, put on the cloud music, Colin. Back to Clown Town. What do you see, mate? It's, a, um, it's an angry rabbi. Angry rabbi. Isn't that who helps you with your arms? A couple two, of Hasidic, two Hasidic Jews. Jews. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, Hasidic yeah. Jews and rabbis are two different things. Similar, similar world. I'd be saying that's like vicar and, and, <laughs> and, and, and a Christian and, man. And, yeah, Christian person. No, so that'd be like vicar and just Mormon. a guy. Like there's two. Like, just a guy. The Hasidic Jews are so fucking out there. I'm a bit obsessed with them. They will get to my neighborhood, but and Colin lives in my neighborhood as well. Do you you notice how many Hasidic Jews are in our neighborhood? Yeah, yeah, that was quite. Woo! Um, I'm obsessed with them. They're fucking crazy. Do you know they're not they're not allowed to talk to goys because we're so below them at all. Not really? supposed to talk to us. The well, they point. helped you, man. They helped you with your arm. Because it was the Sabbath and I could be dying. Yeah, yeah. So there's a possibility I could become a Jew at some point. Therefore, they need <laughs> to help me out. Did they explain, uh, did they explain they that did to explain you when they helped that, you? They asked me if I was dying and I said no. And then they went, okay, we have to keep walking. Because it's the <laughs> Sabbath. And I was like, for fuck's sakes, guys. <laughs> All right. Like, that'll do. The, it, it, it's good, I should say, that you're back in the clouds because Alex Newby on YouTube said that your first... First set of clouds was terrible. Whoa! Hey, terrible clouds. It was yeah, terrible choice of clouds. Oh hey, ha- Alex Newby. Whoa, Alex Newby. That one looks like Scotland. That's a good one. Hey, Alex. I'm gonna win a cup. What? <laughs> Can I win a cup if I, I'm saying Scotland for that cloud? Hey, Alex. You Newby. know, you know. Hey, Alex Newby. Hope. You know how the show's free? Yeah. Guess what's not free? Your fucking opinion. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right. Anyway, I, I say we get back to the. Uh, <laughs> The, the clouds they're talking about. <laughs> My name's Alex Newby. More like Alex Stick in the Mudby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, suck it. All right, keep going down here. We're going to pass a fucking... This is all old because this neighborhood's completely been gentrified, so there's like a bunch of diners and cool coffee shops on there now. Uh, and they don't use those buses anymore. Fucking Google, you dumb fuck. 
I once smoked weed on that uh, and sat on that median in the road there and listened to Fleetwood Mac's The Chain for like two hours as traffic went by. It was <laughs> fucking awesome. That does sound like a lot of fun. Man, you have, it was yeah. great. And I was like, you know, just one of those times where you're by yourself and you're like, if I meet anyone right now, <laughs> They are, they are, they're like, what are you up to? And then you have to explain. They are looking down on me for yeah, quite yeah. a oh, That's a rough time. All right, Would up. you have made up another reason why you were there? I w- yeah, but you're too high. Like, I was way too high yeah. to do so. Uh, keep going up here. Keep going up, sweetie pie. Keep going up. Keep going. People who lived in that house, one of the guys, he had jeans that you couldn't wa- wash for a year. I remember that. Why? I don't know, J- Japanese denim or some shit? <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> All right. It's okay. funny this stuff you, you remember. I remember. We just remembered weird shit. We're going against the fucking traffic. Oh, we're going to die, sluts. Oh, no. <laughs> and that's why my neighbor ignores me on the tube. Yeah, you know he's a fucking idiot, man. He doesn't know the fucking good times he's missing. Because he, he's also getting it out of context. If he knew you, he could ask, Wait, what's that why, noise? Why is that guy? I'll tell you what, Alex, these are some good clouds, to be fair. Ooh, look at that one. What does that one look like, Dave? It looks like a... What does it look like? Colin, it's like mu- a, uh, Colin music! It's a butterfly. That's a butterfly, man. There it goes. Like a moth. Know. No, it's a moth. I'd say... You know what I'm saying? That's his head. That's the classic ink blot. What you see in ink blot, right? It's always, it's, it's always a butterfly. I think it's a potato. Do you? Anything no. could be a potato. Though. And you're just saying that because Colin's there. You're trying to impress Colin. Racist and accurate. Um, this is... <laughs> okay, this hotel is now called... What is it? Hel- hotel Espirit? It used to be... Oh, Hotel Espresso. Oh, fuck. Really? That is an awful name. This hotel used to be called... Uh, so you've heard of... There's a famous hotel chain called The Days Inn. Oh, yeah. This was called Day Inn. They hit really, and it was it just it was like ghosting everything. Oh, it's such a shithole hotel, mate. Look at it, just a rusty sign. Ooh, some star wagons, possibly filming the X Men movies, filmed in Montreal. Um, that is a restaurant I once convinced my cousin was rotating. He believes me still <laughs> to this day. It is not. Uh, yeah, the, I told him that's a rotating restaurant. <laughs> it is. It's clearly not. It's clearly not a rotating restaurant, and I. I. It's a lie. I. I live with to this day. If he's watching this right now, our relationship is affected. That's my university. I didn't uh, use this building. This was the fine arts building where a lot of arts chicks hang out to uh, to try to sleep with a girl who was in that faculty, though. And it uh, didn't go well. She ended up making up with a dude with a ponytail. And I got super drunk sitting near a radiator with my aforementioned roommate, Joanne, which was pretty fun. Sitting near a radiator. Yeah, it's yeah. what I predominantly remember of the house parties. We were sat next to a radiator. There were other chairs, but we were just getting blitzed on vodka drinks, bro. Uh, and uh, did we give a fuck? The answer is, of course, no. Oh, I took the wrong street. I'm a fucking asshole. Well, are we going to that club? Yeah, I'm taking yeah, you to that yeah. club. Of course. That's the uh, downtown Montreal police station right there. Whoa, 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 Don't look, don't look at that. Fucking okay. hell. Behind the magician's curtain. Or any curtain. You don't want to look behind any curtain. Behind a porn star's curtain would be horrendous. Oh dear. So, it's the most expensive place to buy cigarettes or booze in the entire city. That uh, level off license right there. And. Oh yeah. There is the club I started comedy. Right there. Is that. What's it called? The Comedy Works. Is it still a club? It is still technically the club. I also did a lot of shows here at Grumpy's. Mm. Um, uh, we do a Tuesday night show, and then this is the Oyster Shack, which I think was a front for some sort of criminal enterprise. Uh, this used to be a bar called Jerry's, which was at just a whorehouse. Yeah. And what would be really fun is on like a summer night, what you'd do is you'd sit out here uh, at the Grumpy's patio, drink and have cigarettes and stuff, and you'd watch tourists be like, oh, this place looks a little busy. Don't like the look of this place. Oh, this place looks empty. And then three, two, one. Ah! And then go in here to the Irish Embassy and have a nice time. The old Irish. I assume that's not actually the Irish Embassy. That is actually the Irish Embassy. <laughs> no, it's, it, is a, it is a chain bar um, called the Irish Embassy, which now that I've like known Irish people being like, it's basically the entire, all of North America just 
subtly mocks Ireland's horrible alcoholism caused by the oppression of the Catholic Church. What's that? Your society was raped because of religion? Ha ha, have a Guinness. Like, there's no bagel shop called, like, The Final Solution. Really? And yet... <laughs> And yet there's so many bars called, like, Jimmy McGee's Potato Liver. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. But that's all over the world, right? Irish pubs are, like... Yeah, it is all everywhere. over the Yeah, but call it a bar the Irish Embassy. Like, that's where, yeah, you're, yeah, that's you, weird. That's where you do your government work, you fucking drunks. <laughs> is the American bar... There, there was also one down here back in the day. This is the weirdest restaurant, and that I'm sure it was mafia run. But I, because like, look at it, like there, no one was ever yeah, in that there. Pretty run down. Um, oh, I think it's gone. No, it's not. Oh, they changed the sign. This was called Charlie's American Bar, and no taps for beer, just a cooler yeah. behind a bar. Sometimes not the same cooler, which I always thought was amusing. And you'd go in there and just fucking rubby dubs, man. And then so there was Grumpy's, and then over here was O'Regan's. Which was the Bizarro Grumpies. And it was the exact same layout of a bar. Where is it? Oh, it's gone. Oh, yeah, it closed. Oh, it's gone. Anyway, there was a bar down here that was the exact same as Grumpy's, same layout. Yeah. But just terrible in every way that Grumpy's was a great bar. It was fascinating. So, yeah, this was my... I spent three years basically getting drunk and doing comedy on yeah, this yeah, street. Yeah. And what was that? How, how did you find it when you come to London? How... Like the comedy scene, how well, it's a lot less of a community, lots of less of a hang. Is it? Is in Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's much. I more guess everyone's so spread out. Everyone's so spread out, and it's a business. Like it's people are trying to get on television. Well, in yeah, Canada, yeah. it's like well, we're not going to get on television. There's no television to get. It's just fun. Yeah, we're just going to yeah, hang yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I prefer. I kind of like. You miss the, that a little bit. I miss that a little bit. I miss the community of it. Yeah. Now, it's also weird. Of in Canada, it's kind of you start comedy in a city and you get twenty friends because you're now going to hang out with all those people every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or in London, it's like. I'm a comedian too, and they're like, "Yeah, so is my mom." It's almost, <laughs> it's almost, too, it's almost too many people, right? Yeah, you so can't, you can't know them all. That's why I'm bullying them to get them out. So where uh, next up? Next up, we go to where's your next one? Toronto, Toronto, we're in Kensington Market, right here, Oxford Street, Oxford Street. And I did all that graffiti. Did you? Is that no. you? Is that you? No, Oxford. I'm not a fucking. You loads of different scrub. tanks. That's a, you never uh, do it, even when you're like. No, a, I never did. I'm not. No? A good, I'm not a good artist. You're going the wrong way from my oh, house, right, right, Dave. Right, right. Dave. It's my new character. Um, <laughs> All right. So, oh shit. Where, where, where do we go? Keep going, baby. There we go. Hit. No, nope, too far. I said. Ah. Yeah. You're an overzealous Google Street Cricker. gentleman. One more. One more. One more this way. Yeah, and then turn it back round. This way. Yeah. That house, the multicolored gray and rainbow one. This that, guy, this guy, all right. That was my house for three years. The, uh, this, the top window for one year, and then that guy for two years. So how, why did you move to Toronto? Moved to Toronto to uh, better my comedy career. Um, Is there more of a scene there? Way more of a scene yeah. in Toronto. You can do comedy every night. Like It wasn't even about money. It was just doing it every night at that point. It was fucking great. I did it every night for three years, basically. Um it was an absolute blast. Yeah, it was a tiny shithole of an apartment. There's no living room. You, the living room was also the kitchen. Uh, it was so small. It was four hundred dollars a month or something. Or five? What was it four seventy five or five seventy five? I can't remember. But it was like no, like for Toronto, right? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, bunch of different roommates. Super fun. Um, oh, was that comics house? No, it was just a bunch that? of randoms. There was never yeah, any comedian. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I live with one guy. This guy Jai. He lived there. I had to bail him out of jail because he tripped his girlfriend during a fight. He's really? asked me to not tell that story, and I've said, tough, I bailed you out of jail. It's my story. I purchased it. You own it, yeah. Yeah, I purchased it when, when I, you went to jail and I'm the reason you got out of jail. I do I do and says what I like. That's you. You know man. that guy? That's you. That's me. <laughs> what is that guy holding? Oh, he's, he's holding a Fruitopia and a DVD. Oh, wow. man. Wow, you've got good eyes, man. That's clearly a Fruitopia, and that's clearly a DVD... Although it does look like he's, it's a golden, yeah. a golden hand. Weird dude. So where, uh, where else should we go? Where else? Let's, go, let's go up to call. Oh, we can go. We can go to look at the the hospital I went to when I one time shit blood down here. That sounds good. That I want to go there to the hospital. All right, turn, turn it oh, back yeah, around. Yeah, turn yeah, it right, back around, right, right, right. baby. It's right there. It's the only time I've ever known. Oh, where, this one. I've only. It's the only time in my life I've ever known where there's a hospital, is when I've lived literally <laughs> beside it. Do you just? Well, that's nice. Just walking to hospital. Hello. How else do you get I'm to shitting hospital? blood. Yeah, I watched it. I shit an immense amount of blood. Like, so much. It was crazy how much it was. And what, what was it? What was the... 
Uh, I had an internal hemorrhoid from flying too much. I'd flown uh, seven out of the last eight days, I believe, and I was I was supremely dehydrated. Yeah, yeah. So they uh, put me on uh, soft foods and no alcohol for two weeks, and then my my shits retained there. Is that, that is that no, does that normally happen from flying too much? It can hap- it happen. Uh, internal hemorrhoids can happen from flying too much, but usually more common in black men than white men, which they found. Oh, really? Uh, I was like. Imagine if you went that's in for that. Probably, that's got to explain a couple things about me, bro. You went in for that, and then you found out you were black as well. I already know oh, I am. Shit. I got rhythm. Um, I don't know. I'm an Indian. And hemorrhoids. I got rhythm and, that's and hemorrhoids. There's the CN Tower, uh, the largest freestanding structure in the world, if you don't count the Burj Khalifa, which I don't. <laughs> why, why do you not count it? Because it's taller. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. Um, and it's a beautiful tower. It's the radio tower for the entire city. And this is a very expensive parking lot. I once put my car, a car in that parking lot. It was insane. It was like 40 bucks for like two hours. And I, I swore at the guy. It was nuts, man. I didn't swear at him. Sound like there's some trauma there. Yeah, it's pretty, it was pretty fucking crazy. All right, we're let's going follow, to let's follow this. Should we just follow this truck and see where I it goes? I think we are following Fighting this hunger. All right, let's see. We it. are fighting. Okay. see where it's, oh, oh, it's getting away. All right, we're going to turn it back around. Back around. Stop, stop. You you go way too fast. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where, what do you want me to look at? I was going to go, there's a shitty breakfast place there, and then there's the greatest bar in the world, Ronnie's Local 69, yo, right here. Wow, that does look good. It's fucking it's awesome. I think dive bar. I'm going to be in Toronto pretty soon. I'm going to make people go to Ronnie's. I haven't been there in so long. Old Ronnie's. So weapons and Ronnie's, man. You Give get, him a shout out. You get drunk. You just drink a lot. Old Ronnie's. Like, it's just, yeah, it's like a bar. Like, it, it, you know, you've been to a bar. Not like that. No, the one that looks like that. That looks like someone's gone shit. They also make so much money. It's one of the craziest things. Yeah. Like the person that owns it owns that building, so there's no rent. Yeah. And I just know that one time she took. They closed for a week, and she took all the staff to Chicago for a week. That's a vacation. It was really? the craziest thing ever. And I, I feel like I've almost. Is that quite a famous bar? I feel like I've almost if you watched, seen that. On if something. you watch Anthony Bourdain, yeah, I thought yeah, so. That's where he goes. Yeah, yeah. 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 And they have what they have. What's the thing they it's eat? Called Delirium Trummins is the famous. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Thing. I know. I recognize. Oh no, it. the restaurant he goes to. I can show you. I yeah, my yeah. ex girlfriend used to work there. What new owners of the grilled cheese place? This is really fucking good grilled cheese right here. I don't know why they're advertising new owners. Don't give a fuck. It was great when I used to go there. That's just cheese on toast, right? That's a whole. Yeah. <sighs> This is, um, all right, now I'm going to take you to the grocery stores that were, uh, I don't know if they're still open. If there are, you're in for quite an anecdote. Oh, oh, yes, I think it's still here. Okay, the Foodland. Oh, shit. Foodland's closed. Oh, man. You're getting lots of okay. bad news on this episode. Well, it's just because it's, you know, it's been a few years since I've lived there and the neighborhood's getting gentrified. Okay, so this is uh, now a f- uh, health food store and this is closed. The... Um, the food land over here. Yeah, this used to be owned by two brothers, Zimmerman's Food Land, and um, and then this was called Clothing and Food, I believe, and it literally was like shitty clothing nice. and shitty food. All the essentials. It was two brothers that each owned grocery stores. Now they fucking hated each other, and because of how suppliers work, you could only get certain items from certain items, and they wouldn't work with the same suppliers that the other brother would work with. So they each only had certain items. Yeah. So to get things, you had to go to both. Oh, my God. But if you walked in with bags from the other one and they were there, they'd yell at you. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I'm not surprised they've gone out of business. <laughs> That's really, why, why did they fall out? You know? I never got the story, but they would fucking, they fucking hated each yeah, other. Yeah, it yeah. was insane. That's so weird, man. I heard, that reminds me of, you know, uh, I think Puma and Adidas. Yeah, they're brothers. They're brothers, yeah, right? like, Similar thing, yeah. Is that they true? Yeah, yeah. I wonder who was first. I assume the Puma guy is second, and Adidas. Was I assume, last yeah. Name. At some point they were the same business, and then they they split. And here I think is is that the King of Kens? Oh fuck yourself! There was a Canadian sitcom called The King of Kensington, and to show you how lame Canada could be sometimes, they put a statue of the main character up in Kensington Market. Oh really? I was about to show you that. And is it not there? That's no, it's right there. We uh, just can't get any closer. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, you kind of see. Yeah, King Al. He is the king of Kensington. Is that any good, that show? It's not great. Not a great show. The old king of Kensington. If they erected a statue to John Hastings, what um, what it. pose would you be doing? Uh, got it. That you'd be moving in the statue. I'd be moving <laughs> in the statue. <laughs> you'd go, for the statue, I'm just going to stand there. The statue would have a hinge, and when you put money, <laughs> for some reason you give the statue money, I don't, I don't know why, it would go, oh. 
<laughs> I'd go there. He would bark. <laughs> like Tim Allen. Do you guys remember? Oh, uh, yeah. Did home you, Improvement. Did you guys have Home yeah, Improvement? Yeah, we did have it. We did get it. That I show is horrendous. If you look. As it a child, I loved it. There's that, that neighbor who was like, Wilson, yeah. On the other side of the wall. Yeah. It has not aged well at all. Now we're going to take you to the <clears> boat, which was this is the weirdest thing ever. So. I don't really understand how this place existed. Oh, okay, they spruced it up a little bit. This was basically a Chinese restaurant that had this upstairs area that was for events. And basically it was, if you just walked in and were like, I want to do an event, yeah. they'd let you do it. Yeah. So it basically got taken over by like crazy club promoters. Like friends of mine who just pretended to be DJs used yeah, to do yeah, club yeah. nights there. And you do you go in and you'd see like all the people hanging out. It was like really good prices and like you could kind of eat down here. But then they figured out fuck the restaurant we just have this room that's become somewhat cool so they closed the restaurant yeah. and then it was just this family who lived somewhere here just watching all these people get drunk yeah, and then yeah, just yeah. making so much money off we well, just gotta go with it don't you it's, it was fucking yeah. great I miss that's that where the money's at um this was not here this you can tell that this is gentrified since i lived there uh oh my god i love by the way over yeah, here? just the day changes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, did you see no, that? Some, yeah, yeah, I did. The, Sometimes it doesn't. The day is changed. take it on No, but the days. day change in that uh, uh, Krugagar fucking Krav Maga closed, open, and also this fucking place, which I was trying to find. Just changed, yeah. With yeah. This, uh, this lounge. Um, once I uh, saw a girl walk out of this lounge right here. I was biking home. This street right here. Walked out of the lounge. Threw up right here, pissed right here, turned around, tried to go back in. Oh, really? And the bouncer laughed in her face. <laughs> La- like, ha, 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 not happening. Um, and then we're going to go down here, and I'm going to show you the swimming pool where in the summer at night. Oh, we changed used- again. That's so creepy. We used to, uh, used to climb the fence and go for a swim. It's right over there. I said, right over there, you fuck you. How, how often do you go back in? Uh, every Christmas. This is my mum lives in Toronto now. So oh, I, does she? All right. So that swimming pool there, behind these boxes, at night, my house is literally just up over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, there's the hospital. I said the hospital. So at night, because you wouldn't have air conditioning, you tootle down here with your towel, you'd hop this fence, which is not that high, jump in the pool, swim around for a little bit, jump the pool again, and there'd be a party going on every night of the summer, just in there, and the cops yeah, would yeah. come by once a and be like, everybody out. And then you jump the fence over here. And say, this is how fucking ridiculous it was. There's a fence over here. You jump the fence over here. And then the police would walk over and be like, who was in the pool? And you're soaking wet and be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> this is sweat. So they're just going through the motions. They're not going to. Yeah. Well, they don't give them. a yeah, yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Like literally right over fucking here. Yeah, yeah. Like right there. Like down the street. Seven yeah. minutes is a fucking massive scary project where the gangs had literally taken over and there were no residents so they were just like on the way to go find a baby that's been microwaved hipsters get out of the pool back in to fucking have another night <laughs> some more nightmare fuel like yeah bloody hell man all right should we, i say we go into the next place actually. yeah we gotta go to london I, so where... you, you were concerned we wouldn't have enough locations we're, we're did i say that we're already running late Running, oh yeah, because you got to get off. Where are you going again? Buying some tea towels. I'm going to buy tea towels at the State Modern Gallery. <laughs> at the start of the show, John told me, can we do this quickly because I need to buy some tea towels. Well, so I don't have the, to. Uh... It's just it w- I would prefer to be able to buy tea towels. <laughs> no, I get you, man. So where is... Uh... This is this is where I currently live in London. That's where live, you live now. I live in North London, unlike Dave. I do in well. In the park there behind this tree, right? Not, not anymore, man. <laughs> oh, there was a homeless guy. Did you, Colin, you live in my neighborhood. I don't know how often you spend in the park, but did you see the homeless guy who was camped by the New River for like a year? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, because there's uh, lots that kind of dot around the It's fucking perimeter. insane. Like, the guy was literally, like, you could see, so was, we're right on the road. By the way, great covering up of the street sign right there. I, <laughs> no, no one can tell what road we're on right now. <laughs> fuck you. So, okay, right the fuck Okay. Oh, you. You know, you t- tell me and I'll do it, man. Because you, you, you got a broken arm. Okay. Keep going by this other yeah, wall here. Yeah. And slide it over. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Yeah. Okay. Can't really see. So, where, so all the, where these trees are. Yeah. This was a massive homeless encampment for a year. What was it? And I, I, to the life of me, like the homeless was, encampment. How many, how many were there? There was two tents. I never saw anyone yeah. there, but like they kept it relatively. It's kind of, you think they'd do it like in the middle of the park, right? Absolutely. What really? the fuck? It was right there. But the cops drove by it every day and didn't fucking say boo. Like it was, which I'm like, fine, sleep where you want, yeah. do, do your heroin. 
Uh, so I live here. Walk through this park every day. I love it. That's real nice. Nice huh? place to have some thinking done. My house is just over here. Relatively speaking, oh, no, it's in this yeah, area. Yeah. You, you live in the comics there? Who, who you I want, uh, yeah, I want to show you taking over. It's not the John Hastings review show with Dave Green. I hate when the guest. This literally all I do in the show is click. Even with a broken arm. So that van has been parked on that street for five, the five years I've lived here. I've never seen anyone drive it or move it, but it's there every day. I passed it today. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck its purpose is, but... It's quite a cool old it van. It is a cool old van, isn't it? It always reminds me of the Ecto-1 from the Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. Like a similar, similar color scheme. Yeah, it is yeah. a similar color scheme. So that was a fucking... Um, I don't know, Volkswagen... Was it Hertz? It was an ambulance. But what is that? Oh, yeah. the, the, the long car. I don't know why I got so upset. An estate car. Is it a sta- No, it's, there's something like a family wagon? Station wagon. Station wagon. Yeah. It's a station yeah, yeah. wagon. Different vibe. Different shape. Yeah. My friend Paul Harrison's family had a station wagon. I remember once when we were five, we got to sit in the seat in the back where it faced the other way. Yeah. I've never had more of a thrill in my oh, life. Oh, right. Going down the motorway. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah oh, it was fun, man. You're just like, we, That's fu- fun. we did it. And then now um, we can go into the park and have a little mosey. Can we actually? Yeah. So you tell me, I, already, right. I already set it up. I set oh, it up. Cool, it's on the next it. screen. Oh, nice one. Boom! Already in the park! In the park. Speaking oh, of Hasidic Jews, yes. I one time saw a bunch of Hasidic Jews on the paddle boats you can rent in the, on that little pond. And they were having a fucking hoot and a half. These are the basketball courts. This is um, before they refurbished them. Um, this is a good place. My friend Ryan used to um, play basketball there every day. My old flatmate Ryan Cole. Shout out to him, yo. Oh, yeah, Ryan Cole. Um, one time I was jogging by and uh, I showed up, and him and my friend Paul Meyerhog, my friend Pete White, and I think my friend Chris Betts, and they all showed up at 2 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it transpired that they all accidentally showed up drunk at 2 o'clock yeah. in the morning, which I'm just like, wow, you guys are <laughs> London. Is- Really hit you guys hard <laughs> that you're all drunk at two o'clock in the morning, in the two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. So how how was it actually when you first came to London? How was it like? Fucking terrifying. Yeah, it's a fucking crazy place. When you go from like, look at the difference. Did you have mate? Did you know other Canadian comics yeah. here? I had met quite Ryan, a few. I had met and... Ryan for ten minutes, yeah. and I knew Paul Meyerhog, and that's about. And I knew like Dane Alexander to say hello, but I yeah. didn't know like anything. At, pardon me. Ah! Big yawn. Show them how it's done. Um. <laughs> I didn't know anyone. Make to really, call in your I don't really know anyone to sort of, you know, safe pace. But you just you learn to make friends. It's important. It's weird. It's one of those things where it's like, when it's one of the things where you know, if someone's like, "Oh, let's get a beer sometime," and you ignore it, when you move to a new city, you have to be like, "Yes, well, you're yeah, now, yeah, yeah. you're now my new best friend." But then doing comedy, man, you meet so many people. There's you do, no but way. it's it's not the same. There's not a community vibe to it over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, you're right, man. It's very rare that people will hang out. Like, where did we meet? I feel like we met at a just the tonic venue. Did we? I think so. I can't picture. I can't remember when I first met you. I can't remember it either. I just feel like I've always known you. Yeah, we're like two, uh, two ancient trees in each other's gardens. Um, so now we're going up Upper Tollington Road. Um, Old Upper Tollington. Where there's a Nando's that I always forget that is there, but I always want Nando's. It's just right on the corner up here. Like, don't you always, whenever you want a Nando's, you're like, I don't know where there's a fucking Nando's. But then when you pass a Nando's, yeah, you're like, they do I, seem... I need to remember that Nando's <laughs> is there for next time I want Nando's. It seems to be everywhere. What's the what's your favorite thing to get at Nando's? No, no, probably... Mine? Diarrhea. Probably the chicken. Uh, this guy. I like that one. Um, con- that but what, but what kind of this? cut of chicken? I think I just get the whole... You get the chicken. whole chicken? Yeah, sometimes. You're half right. of the whole. Half of the whole. Oh, you go half. I think every time I go in there, actually, I have the conversation with my girlfriend. I'm like, do I... I can't remember what I get, and then I quite often get the hole, and then I think, yeah, that's too much. I that, think in reality, that's, that's why so I That's so much chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole... And then, and then I think next time I get the half, and then I always... That's a whole animal. Yeah. Ooh, is that that's a... a f- lot, man. Sometimes I get an exploding chicken. If the mood, Ooh, let's look at that cloud. The mood takes me. Did we have any... Um, let's see about the other... Did anyone else comment in, Colin? We should probably wrap it up soon. No, uh, Alex did. Apart get, from Alex, just Alex did get our back clouds. on. And he, he wanted to know why uh, you're so small compared to John. Because John's just a massive <laughs> um, human being. It's not a camera trick, right? It's not no, a camera trick. Um, I'm from North America. That's why. Yeah, Genetically but, speaking, uh, my family at some point had to survive a winter. Therefore, my bones are strong, <laughs> as opposed to anyone from Teddington who just had to survive the <laughs> the cricket wars of the 1970s. <laughs> And you call that a wicket, Nigel? 
I'll show you, wicked. Then, oh, a pun. And then they retired to a pub to have a roast that was inappropriately cooked. <laughs> the, Simon on Facebook did get back with the, the second set of clouds we visited. He, he had said it looks like someone uh, doing walk like an Egyptian. Nice one, man. Simon, you're, That's on, very my, detailed, Simon, right. you're on my Christmas card Simon, list. Simon, you win it. You win the, uh, what's, what's he winning? You didn't actually win. say. Well, it's something from We just give away mugs. Yeah. This mug. That's a good mug. Can I just try? That is a good mug, actually. Again, Ooh. I think my mum. I think every one of these mugs my mum's given me. If that's, but that's a great. It mug was actually. Gift. Yeah, that was moving in present to the other house, and that was to this house. Here's the you thing always is, need mugs, man. This is she knew I was one day going to do a YouTube show. Well, Anna, is this a, is this a podcast or a YouTube show? I don't know what it is, mate. A visual podcast, I think. Vid- a vodcast. Vodcast, if you will. All right, man. I reckon we should wrap it up, actually. What do you Dave, reckon, Dave, John? What's your favorite part of London? Favorite, favorite part. <coughs> favorite part. Is it wherever your girlfriend is? <laughs> Got you. This guy. Probably here, right here, right now. Leightonstone. Leightonstone is no. I love Leightonstone. Man. No, you don't. You diss on Leightonstone. You've never seen it apart from that. That's true. I've only ever the walk it. from from the station. I do. I have to say, your flat is fantastic in that it does seem like it's secret. Like it's like you're like yeah yeah. Go to this pub, then there's an alley, and then you walk exactly, by, and you're like, exactly. goodness. It's surprising. All right, man. Well, let's uh, let's zoom out. Do you want to hit us with the music on? We'll zoom out into the sky. Oh, I feel like it's the end so of that's the it. fucking... Um... That's the end of it, man. Oh, my God. The end of the world? No, You're damn right. It is. I've been Dave Green. This, this has been, been Dave Green's Street View Show. I have been John Hastings. He's been John Go Hastings. Go pre-order my album on iTunes or any other place you can. At the John Hastings on Twitter. The album is called Art. Let's go look at... Let's go look at North Korea quickly. Here. Let's go into space. No, why can't I go? I want to go down in the nighttime. Fuck you, Google. <laughs> That's it. The show's stupid. Cheers, guys. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Dave Green Street View Show. Just kidding. Great show. Signing off.